Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil that rejoices with the ch truth it also protects also trusts always hopes always perseveres so yeah still doing my bible study it's a long one but i've done a study on it before and i happen to love that um it's one of my favorite bible sections so um all right, so we're going to get right on into it. One of the things that I did was I got my So What box on Saturday. So I'm going to pop that little clip in of the unboxing and then explain why I did it then. Hello. So, pardon the wind blown. I mowed and did a bunch of other stuff. And yeah, I'm horrible looking. But anyway, uh, if you watched the last video, this is the final and I did I haven't pressed them or anything I haven't taken that seam out that I use or this one uh but doing the so what box my way they came out very nice these rectangles were anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half long the longer this is what I took off to make it fit the circle um and this is what I took off of the accent piece to make it fit the circle. So, I mean, we're talking one, two and a half to three inches that you have to take off in order to make those um, right. And it's all in the cutting. So when you hear the old adage, antage measure twice, cut once, they're not kidding. Um, the better you can make your pieces, the easier they go together okay so not knocking the so what box just saying that they made these super hard to do um there goes the iron again uh when it was really a simple project so um yeah they're really nice once you get them put together <laughs> and uh, i made the same size ones i made two these are going to go to rj for macy um they're trying to get things kind of organized in uh, the house so that she can be down on weekends. Well, which is funny because this is Saturday and as I'm getting these done and, and kind of questioning why they have you put it together the way you do, because it's the hardest thing ever to do it that way. Um, and this is super simple. So, um, yeah, when I was questioning that, my next so what box came so um i'm gonna open this up and i just slit the thing so uh so spring okay so and it looks like here's my extra fabric bundle i'll get to those here in a minute okay so our little kit is this I don't know if you can see that very good. Apparently, you have the mug, and then you make the little thing that goes around it, and it's pink and purple. <laughs> of course. Um, grab that. Okay. Now, remember, they put pins, a sewing needle. Everything is in the kit. So, we now have pink thread, which this will go to my daughter. I have tons of thread. I don't need more thread. Um. Oh, we've got the two little pieces of elastic pre-cut. Um, looks like we've got the smaller pieces. We've got two of these, two of these, and two this size. So this time when I go through, I'm going to watch their video and see how they do it. And then I'm literally going to make Tori her own video if it's too complicated um it comes with instructions which is the part that i'm keeping because i just want the picture of what i can figure out how i know how they're doing this super simple but we'll see if they make it any harder than it needs to be um 
it is what it is. That's all I'm going to say is it is what it is. Um, these, they're billing this kit for anyone expert. If you put them together the way they say to, you're going to fail first off and second off, um, I feel like they're making things more complicated than they need to be so that they can hit that expert as well. Um, maybe they need to do two versions of the video, one to challenge yourself to make it the hard way and one to, to make it the easy way. Um, because I can tell you right now, this kit is going to make two of these and each one of these is going to be your center. You're going to put the two the easiest way to do this is going to be to put your two pretties together, put your elastic in there um, so that it'll go around the mug, sew across, turn it, iron it. Um, well, I say two elastics. Let me let me show it right. Okay, so you're going to put your, your elastic like this in between. Um, you're going to do one on the top, one on the bottom. You're going to turn this out and go all the way around it. Then this is going to be the one that makes the pockets and you're going to fold it over. All you should have to do is seam this, pin it to the front and then zip down the edges. It should be super simple, <laughs> but apparently including putting on the mug is going to be 10 steps this way. Um, yeah, we will see. Um, because there's enough in this kit to do two of them. So one of these will go to this and it'll be cut in half. One of these will go to the other one and be cut in half. So this is going to be the part that goes around the mug with your elastic in each end. And then this one is going to make the little pockets and you're basically going to gather it a little bit. You know, I could honestly put this all, iron it, put it all together, pin it, zip everything down, and then go around the edge and be done. Just saying, I'm going to look at how they're doing it, and then I am going to construct it the easy way. Um, Tori is not an expert, and if she wants to refer back to mom, of course, she is, we're splitting these, so she will get the mug caddy. I can make them any size I want. If I like this size, I'll jot down the sizes, but I have the pattern right here and the instructions you know on this back part um the pattern i'm not going to open this one up because i did last time the pattern has the instructions written on it as well so um we'll go we'll see about that okay then i've got my extra fabric i get a little extra fabric bundle and these are always bundled with the little handmade tags i'm giving those to tori too i don't mark any of my stuff handmade um, just because my goal is that I make stuff. I don't want it to look handmade. I want it to look professional. Um, I want it to look nice and usable. And then I just tell them, yeah, I made that. And if it is, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So this, the pattern, the pins and the needles will go to Tori. The spool of thread will go to Tori. And then she's got material that I gave her you know, and she will probably get this as well, just because. Now, my other bundle here is some white with daisies on it. I don't know if you can see that really well. It's just kind of the white on white type of thing. It's white with white daisies on it. And then I got this one, which is pink with pink swirls. Um, these fabrics... I haven't done anything other than the kit and today I am going to sit and make that kit and if I have to make another video for Tori I will but I want these to be simple for her and there is always more than one way to construct an item I just feel like their videos and their instructions are not the easiest way um, I get it they're trying to make it broad. Maybe they need to do some expert ones and maybe they need to do some beginner ones. Just saying. Um, this is a cute idea. I'm going to whip them up right now while I'm sewing because I just got done doing these. And so today I've mowed and I'm getting ready to uh, 
I do the yard, so I might work on that. But I just wanted to pop in and get the opening of the So What box and explain why I'm making So What videos for Tori. And, of course, you'll see this in the regular podcast. <laughs> okay, so I made that little video um, Saturday. Um, as y'all know, I've been trying to teach Tori to sew. And I started the Sew What boxes so that we would have some little projects that she could do. Her ultimate goal is to learn to make clothes. I started with shorts. She made those. Um... But she's very hesitant, and so I thought little projects that she can complete in just a few minutes and actually have something tangible in her hand would teach her, um, and she'd be more apt to stick with it. So, uh, I, if you guys saw, I posted a video on how to make these a lot easier, and I showed what happened when you use just the pre-cut fabrics because they didn't line up. So, I made these. And these are going to go to Macy, and they are from the kit. Um, they're just little baskets. Uh, so, yeah, there's those. Then the next So What box you saw is this. I made both of them. I made them in like 10 minutes. I made one for Tori and one for Macy. I, can, I still have a strings. I've been struggling with my strings here lately. I don't know what my deal is. I'll miss one or two or... Anyway, I had my eye appointment, so maybe that will help. Um, I did have to change my up-close prescription just a little bit, so maybe that's the problem. So, ignore the strings. I'm going to go back and clip those off. And it's just a little, it's made to go on a mug, but this happens to be a coffee can. And this would be great for hoof picks and syringes and medications for Macy doctoring. And, of course, then it's got the closed-in area. It will suit her just fine. Um, Tori, she's going to use hers for sewing things, and she's going to make her a couple more and have some cups so that she can have all of her little notions out. The other thing that I made um, was I got RJ's hanger done. If you remember, this was the first Sew What box that gave me this idea, and I did make the little pocket in here for him to put his cell phone and stuff in um, when they're at the wedding, and so... I made Macy's, her favorite color, red. This I just made um, with some blue uh, that came in one of the kits that was extra. And as you notice, I put RJ's name on it so that RJ and Macy both have one. Um, so, yeah, made that too. Then, honestly, out of boredom. So, I got a lot of stuff done. I've been off since uh, Thursday. Um, I had to have my car repaired, had my eye doctor's appointment, had a vet appointment, just lots of stuff. And so I took from Thursday to Tuesday off. This is Monday, so I'm still off. I do have to run to the farm and take RJ some stuff, that stuff, and a dresser, um, which luckily I got in my car very closely. But I got that sucker in my car. <laughs> my seats lay down, and it's a little Hyundai accent. So... Yeah, it has that, but it's only a three drawer, so it's not huge, but yeah, it's big enough. So, I literally have material. I have plenty of material. I've got this that I found, I have this that I found that are just pinks, and then these are from the So What boxes. Um, I believe you saw the white and the pink uh, that... I'm messing it up. The white and the pink came with the little mug holder things. And if you watch that unboxing, then you know that these two were in there. Then this one came with the um, baskets so that you can make more baskets. And then this and this came with the other one that was the hanger that was pre cut. So I have all this material and I cannot figure out what I'm going to make next. So if you guys have any idea, I have plenty of cotton. And this is just what I've acquired in the last two months. Um, I haven't bought any by the yard, gone for a project, or anything in months. And I still have my stash in the tote. So 
Um, I'm not really wanting to do another quilt. I did two quilts last year that were queen size for my kids. I don't need any more quilts. Um, I just am ready to do something different, but I don't know what, I don't know what to make. Um, I was looking around and this shirt, um, so I made this, if you guys watched last year, I wear it for work. Um, it's a cute little top, but here's the thing is I had the ties, which I had seen done. I had these two ties in the front and then it was supposed to be tied across here. Well, it doesn't lay right on me. Um, it's made for somebody with a dainty. So I did decide I'm going to revamp this shirt right here and I'm going to put them in the sides. I started ripping out the seam yesterday. I'm going to put them seven and a half inches up. Um, I have this one right here and I'm just going to rip out the seam, tuck them in, and then they'll tie in the back. And I'm going to look and see, I think it will give me the effect that I want if I just put a couple of little pleats in the front. So yeah, it is what it is. So I'm redoing that. Other than that, I've just been cleaning up, getting stuff done. Um, I've moved some furniture around, got a different dresser, dresser in my bedroom. To, I'm taking RJ, the other smaller dresser. For the most part, I'm okay with that. I do have to still clean out, and I'm going to clean out my drawers, get rid of some things that um, I wore for work that I no longer work with Krista and, and you know, she's passed on and uh, I don't need any of my scrubs for the vet clean. So I'm going to get rid of all of that. I still have them, but I'm going to get rid of them and then uh, utilize the other dresser. Uh, other than that, honestly, uh, making those two videos for Tori, there is another one that's going to go up. My camera was too high, and so it's not the best video, but Tori will understand as I show it to her. And so remember that those are just like mother-daughter exchanges. I try to make them to include everyone, but yeah, they're aimed at her. Um, other than that, I've just been getting stuff done here around the house. Uh, Worm's vet visit went much better. His hair started to grow back. He does have to be on the antibiotic. She found one little spot that she didn't like the look of. He's got to be back on his antibiotic for another 10 days or whatever it is. Um, it might be two weeks. I don't know. But he's got to be on that. I mowed the yard, treated the yard for fleas, um, got the dogs. Uh, she gave me, she doesn't want us using the topical down his back anymore. She says that might be part of the problem because of where his itching was. She said it might irritate his skin. So um, we she put him on an oral flea and tick medication. So yeah, he's doing much better. I think he just, he has allergies or he's itchy or whatever. I don't know. So anyway, um, today I'm going to make a run up to the farm, drop RJ's dresser off, all these little things that I've made for them. I'm going to stop and have uh, lunch with my daughter. Or today is Easter for us. I'm going to stop and have lunch with her. And then I'm taking him a pizza. And we're going to spend some time together. And um, we can't get everybody all in one place. We've had that issue now with adding Macy in. Um, because her mom wants her a lot of times. Which I understand. Uh, I just hope her mom understands that she's going to have to share her now. But technically they're not married. So yeah, we still do our own thing. Um, so I'm going to go and have, uh, I'm actually going to eat with Tori and then I'm going to go and talk to RJ while he eats and we're going to unload the car and then, yeah, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Uh, the eclipse is today. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know if I'll look or not. Um, I don't know where I'll be at. I should be getting back from the farm and I'm going to stop at a little nursery and see what kind of house plants I can find. I'm just in that gardening mood and I might start just an herb garden um one for the kitchen um just because I, I miss that farm aspect of having all the land in the world to grow whatever I want so and spring hits me hard because now I don't have any of the babies I don't have any 
uh, real room to put a garden. It's not my house. So when you're a rent, that's another thing. You know, it, it's not your house. You can't just go till up the garden and, you know, rip a new one. It's not my land. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> so renting is not exactly ideal, but it is what it is. I'm going to start with houseplants and try and do some kind of herb garden that I can do inside. And maybe that will curtail my green thumb. I don't know. My urges. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. So I am going to get off of here. I do have to go, like I said, to the farm. I will see RJ. I will see Tori. I will have some fun. And then tomorrow I have lunch with a girlfriend. We're going to hang out and go to a yarn shop. Um, and then Wednesday, I start back to work. Ugh, not looking forward to it. But honestly, if I can't find another sewing project, I'm kind of bored. Um, there's only so much you can clean and clean out. I have thought about getting some shelves in my bedroom. It will make it a little bit... It will organize things better. And I won't make a mess. Every time I go to, to sew, I have a big sewing tote. And I have my um, plastic thing of zippers in there. I have my plastic thing of uh, cam snaps in there. I have my plastic thing of um, serger thread in there. I have So I have to dig out this whole big tote. Well, then I get it all over the bed. Um, and then before I go to bed, I have to take everything, put it back in the tote. Not only does it make, because I have to set up the office to do the sewing I have to clean up where I made the mess so I was thinking if I could get some shelves and have stuff just like my material in the tote and then have the other things that I need on the shelf it might help but I don't know I don't know um I don't know if it's worth the investment I do have to measure and then see if I can find some shelves that will fit in there and I literally am thinking those cheaper plastic ones because nothing I have is really heavy except for the material tote which will go on the bottom so I don't know I, I'm gonna look at doing something else though and see if I can't make it where I don't make a mess and it's destroy my whole bedroom trying to make something just saying uh, I'm used to having my space you know and the more I think about it I can't wait for the tiny home because then I'll have the totes like under the bed and you pull it out. Um, the sewing machines will have their own spots. We already have, I already have design elements for them to be on the shelf, the serger, this sewing machine. My backup will probably be in the sewing tote under the bed. And then, you know, I'll have my wheels exposed. I'll have everything that I want if I want to make something, including the loom. So. We'll see. I need to get back to doing that. I don't, just not enough hours in the day. I have to maintain my job. Um, I did get my car fixed. It cost me $1,100. The dog at the vet cost me over 100 My eyes, I had to go and um, my insurance only pays for the exam. Then I have to pay for the contact, putting the contacts, blah, blah, blah. So that's another 150 bucks. So right now I'm living on a hair string budget. That's why I want to make something, but it has to be from the stuff that's here at the house. And so these, just so you know, they, I believe are a fat quarter. So each one of these is this big, you know, so, but they're nice prints and they're, and I'll figure something out. I just haven't figured out what I'm going to do. Um, uh, I have a tote full of bags. I don't want to make any more bags. Um, I, I just don't know what I can make. Um, I may just go get a package of those tea towels, cut them in half, and make toppers. I think these spring ones would make cute toppers off those cotton ones, and then I can gift those to everybody at Christmas or whatever. So might do that. Who knows? 
anyway, all right, I'm going to get off here. Enough wine. And if you guys have any ideas what I can make with stuff that I already have, I have cam snaps, I have zippers, I have um, different uh, hardware for making bags. I've got material. I don't need anything. And that's normally what stemmed and drove my creating. And so if you have any cute ideas, something different, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.